Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm going to be showing you another sort of fun text animation. And that is going to be the sticker animation. So it's going to look a little something like this right here. As you can see, it just comes in like a sticker would. Um, sticks onto it, whatever your text is, and then it sort of just floats away. So let's get started on this effect. Basically all this is, is just using the spherize effect with a little bit of sort of fun into it. So let's delete this out of here. And we're gonna go up to the text tool, and then we're going to drag down here in the bottom left and type the exact same thing or something, some neater text, just like that. And we're gonna then going to drag this into the right place. And then, so basically what we need to do is move this to where we want it to, to come in at. So I'm gonna say maybe like right here. That's where, all right, let's, let's sit her in a little better. Right there looks good. So then we're gonna go down in here into the effects panel. We're gonna go into distort and then spherize. We're gonna drop that on here. And basically what this does is it's going to create a sphere from the center going outward. So to, to try to show you what I mean by that, if we go into the media browser or actually uh, back over here into editing, let me drop this piece of footage on here and let me drop spherize on this. You can see that when I click on this and then go into the effect controls and actually make the sphere larger, what it's doing is it's creating this sort of bubble in the middle. And we're gonna use that to create the sticker. So let me go ahead and delete that and come back to here. So now we're back in the effect controls and then we're in spherize for our text layer. We're gonna go ahead and hide this element so that we see the entire layer as a whole, the entire graphics layer as a whole. This is the text layer on top of the graphics layer. And then this is our spherize, which is going to affect the entire thing. So now when you see, when I increase the radius, once it gets over here, it starts to do the sticker effect. So all we have to do is, like we've done in past tutorials, is get to a point we like right here, and then we're gonna turn on the animation. Then go ahead about, I don't know, maybe 15 frames, and then we're going to bring the radius down so that it is back to normal. And then we just move to a point where we want it to go away, copy this first frame by clicking on it, and then clicking Control C, V. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing with this last one, so make sure it's selected. Move forward a good distance, then Control C, V as well, and basically we're just inverting the animation so that it comes in the same way it goes out. And now we have it right here. Now, so that, that's basically the effect, but it gets a little bit trickier if you try to move the text. So I'm gonna to try to go over that as well. So let's say you wanted the text up here. And you already see we're having some problems. Is If we move the text up more, we're getting the uh, circle radius is actually affecting it. So we're actually gonna need to redo the entire animation and maybe add in a little bit of something different as on the bottom, we're kind of taking advantage of the fact that the sticker goes off the screen. But up here, we're gonna have to manipulate that a little bit. So let's go ahead and delete all these keyframes right here and let's get started back on the original. So from here, what we want is we want it to be far away so, you know, at the um, beginning of the sticker animation where it's supposed to be off the screen and then comes in. But you see that it just comes up really large, and that's because it never goes off the screen like it does down here. So what we can do is we can actually just go here, and we're just going to animate the opacity. So we're going to start this one off at zero, and then we're going to start the radius off there. And we're going to move still ahead 15-ish or so frames, and then I'm going to bring the opacity back up to 100 so we can actually see what's going on. And then we're going to reduce this radius all the way down until it looks normal again, just like so. So you see, now the opacity is helping create the effect. And you see that maybe 2500 was too large here because there's actually like a little bit of a, a gap sort of happening. And there we go. Now it's looking a little better, maybe even lower this down a little bit more so that the sticker is starting when it starts to come in. And there we go, now we have that cool sticker effect going. And then we can do the exact same thing, we can highlight both of these, hit Control C, Control V, uh, Command on a Mac, I believe. Um, and then we're just gonna do the exact same thing, move it forward again, and do that once again. And then now we have the sticker coming in, and then the sticker going out, just like that. And that is really how to do this effect. Just remember, whenever you move this around, you're gonna have to change this up a little bit, mess with the opacity to make it work right, and then hopefully you can get something working. 
Anyway, that's the tutorial. Thanks everyone for watching. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, I make an Adobe video every other day with fun little tutorials like this or more, you know, in-depth tutorials, anything that I really feel like making so that I learn and you guys can learn. If you want to make or if you uh, got any questions or comments or have a suggestion for a future tutorial, go ahead and hit uh, Post those in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get back to you on those or maybe even make your tutorial. And until next time, guys, see ya.